I told you I'd be right back here, and I'm trusting that you're there. By the way, many of you have been going to the telephone, but keep our prayer partners busy, would you please? Uh, we, we, listen, this next half hour is packed full of so much information about the folks at Tremont Church of God. They're getting ready to celebrate 100 years toward uh, the end of this week, and, and I would encourage you, if you've never been over there, lovely church, lovely facility, but even that great people. I'm here to tell you, some of them are with us here on, on, the, on the desk tonight. We've got Don Harkins here, Dave Ballou, both of them, who've been on that history committee, and we'll be seeing, we'll be seeing much more about that. But now listen, as I said, prayer partners are waiting for your call. And if you don't call, we can't pray for you. Uh, and that's what we love to do. We like to hear your voice. We like to have that connection. We want to connect with you. And the only way we can connect with you or you can connect with us is by going to that telephone. You see the number right there, do you not? 864-244-1616. If you will dial that number, I promise you there'll be some of the sweetest people and the sweetest voices you've ever heard who are waiting for your call, and they want to encourage you. And you know when we talk about prayer partners, we want to say this. There is always a great need here at Channel 16 for more prayer partners. Uh, they are the front line. They are the, uh, the folks who receive those calls, pray for you. They lead many people to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to encourage you, if you are a board of elders or if uh, you're a group of deacons or uh, ladies or men's ministry, uh, and you would like to find out more about, hey, we'd like to be a prayer partner. How, how does this work? Call Amanda. Call them and ask for Amanda when you call. And if she's not here, she'll get back with you. And she can tell you, she can give you all the explanations that you're going to need. But please, we want to hear from you. And uh, prayer partners are ready. Make those phones work. Make them ring because you might need that word of encouragement they could bring to you. Yeah, you're encouraging to them by the fact that you call regardless of where, where you are or what's going on. But they will be an encouragement to you. It's kind of like a mirror looking back and forth. I'll promise you that. And you, I hope tonight that you've enjoyed the music because we've had wonderful music. All this music tonight has been because of the Tremont Church of God. Matter of fact, right now, the Lords are going to sing the old gospel ship and heaven's jubilee. Come on, folks. Let's sing it. I plan to take a trip in the good old gospel ship and I'm sailing through the air. Oh, I'm going to take a trip in a good old gospel ship. I'm going far beyond the sky. Oh, I'm going to shout and sing until the heavens ring while I'm bidding this world. Scarcely wait, I know I'll not be late, for I'll spend my time in prayer. And when my ship comes in, I'll leave this world of sin and go sailing through the air. Oh, I'm going to take a trip in a good old gospel ship. I'm going far beyond the sky. Until the heavens ring While I'm bidding this world goodbye If you're ashamed of me You have no cause to be For with Christ I am an heir If too much fault you find You'll sure be left behind While I go say Good old gospel ship, I'm going far beyond the sky. Oh, I'm gonna shout and sing until the heavens ring while I'm bidding this world goodbye. Man. Some glad morning we shall see. Jesus in the 
Rising for the Jubilee That is just a hit In the twinkling of an eye Changed with him to be All the living shapes to fly To the Jubilee All the day of singing, singing All the day of shouting, shouting All that happy morning When we all shout that Christ Oh, what a glory, glory the song with them we shall be praising Christ to ages long heaven's jubilee what a day of singing singing what a day of shouting shouting on that happy morning when we all shall glad and rise what a day of glory glory Now that's just a little foretaste of what you could hear Saturday and Sunday this week. I want you to uh, join with me in welcoming our guest Don Harkins and uh, Mr. Uh, Dave Ballou from the Tremont Church of God. Welcome, welcome. What do I say to my buddy here? I tell you, we've been doing this a while, haven't we? Have, several and times. and uh, Don, and it's just so good to be with you again. Dave, it's such a pleasure Thank to you. meet you, sir. And uh, just enjoy the music. Now I, I'm gonna let y'all have at it. What's going to happen at Tremont Church of God Saturday and Sunday this week? Okay, uh, two great days. This is our 100th anniversary. Mercy. And we're having two services this year rather than just the Sunday service. We're going to give people opportunity who can't come on Sunday to come Saturday with and right. uh, celebrate with us. So we're having a, a red back hymnal singing Saturday at 5 o'clock. Wow. How and much? How, how many songs will you sing? We'll probably sing about uh, 12 to 15, somewhere in that uh, Some neighborhood. And we're, uh, a lot of our former uh, music directors are coming back, and they'll be leading uh, wow. the songs, and we're going to have a great time. Uh, mm. Oh, what's singing? It. And, oh, my, my, my. And we, uh, we're uh, expecting a, a good crowd. We're inviting everyone to come out. It, it's open, uh, free. Admission. What time the, does that begin? Begins at five o'clock. Okay. And, uh, this Saturday. This Saturday, and then uh, Sunday we're having our 100th homecoming celebration. 10:30 a.m. Our uh, general overseer of the churches of God yes. will be there, Dr. Tim Hill. At Wonderful. Beginning Dr. at 10:30 and uh, dinner on the ground. Ooh uh, Afterwards. Uh, now, so. now we were talking, and Dave, uh, sir, you said that. That's the only church you've been a member of, and it's been, what, 71 years? 71 years. Uh, I was born in June, and two months later, <laughs> I was brought into the Tremont Church and been there ever since. Isn't that great? And my uh, grandparents, my uh, maternal grandparents, were uh -huh. members uh, in the early church, and then my parents came after that, and then... I came, my children mm -hmm. uh, were born into the church. Uh, when I married, my wife was Baptist, and she came over to the good side, I guess. She's or missionary, what. yes. And, uh, <laughs> so and we've been a part of the church ever since. Right. And uh, right. I wouldn't take anything for it. No. I know there's always churches uh, as your church and other churches that are so special, but... Uh, our church is also special. It, you know, I've, I've been over there two times, and, and, and I have to say that it, it, it's a wonderful experience. It doesn't matter what your background is in no. the denomination. If you're a born-again believer, the Tremont Church of God is an experience, and, and the music is such a blessing. The preaching is powerful, and just to be together with God's people. Now, you've got a book in your hand, Don. Now, hold that up. Let our folks see this. We have. We've just completed, uh, Dave and I and several others. Can we get a picture of this piece right here? Uh, 
or one of you? On our committee, work together to uh, put the 100-year history of Tremont to, uh, in a book. It just came out. In fact, we're receiving the shipment tomorrow, and they'll be available Saturday and Sunday. So come out Saturday and, uh, or Sunday. You can purchase a, uh, a book of the Tell Me the Story of Jesus. How did you come up with that title? We, uh, some of our uh, past uh, pastors used that as their theme song for the radio program. Okay. And we, uh, when we first started, I guess about five or six years ago with this committee, we mm -hmm. decided to use that. And, That's great. And That's we great. could say down through the years for a hundred years now, the story's mm -hmm. been told from, and we're talking about the, the, the gentleman on before was talking about miracles, but right. we could talk about miracles all night and about what's happened from the, Right. Formation of our church in right. uh, September the 21st, 1919. Right. 26 charter members. Who is your oldest member there? Do you have you do have you done? Uh, Flo back? Owens is 98, I believe, is mm -hmm. David. 98. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Wow. 98 years old. My. Goodness. And my uh, my history goes back uh, through six generations of membership in the my great my sure. great grandmother. Uh huh. My grandmother, my mother. Myself, my son, oldest son, and his three daughters are members. So we've got six generations. Isn't that great? Of uh, membership in Tremont, and and, and I, I love it, and uh, and love to study the history of it. Yeah, and, yeah. And yeah. we'll be uh, celebrating this weekend about the goodness of God, not just the fact that we've uh, completed a hundred years, but mm -hmm. just looking at the mm -hmm. the many miracles that have been performed. Oh and, uh, yeah, the, yeah. The many people's lives that have been touched all down through the years. And I, I think about the preaching, the great preaching that oh, has gone yes. oh. there over the years, and the, and the people who've been saved, and people whose lives have been completely changed, you know, turned completely around. And David can uh, talk about this, but one of the big ministers that's been part of the Tremont Church for 29 years was the uh, Christmas drama from Christ's birth to judgment. And, right. Uh, David was. Right. A big part of that, uh, David. Were you uh, were you in the play, or uh, were you, did you write? Did you act? What, no, what? I was part of. I started out as a soldier. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you had the opportunity to. Uh, I never sit. saw it, but I only got yeah. snippets from folks who did yeah. go there. Yes, sir, I did. It actually was, I guess, three hours. I mean, it went on, and mm -hmm. I started as a soldier. I ended up as pilot. My uh, wife was Mary at uh -huh. the foot of uh, the cross of Jesus. And uh, our son was the first baby wow. uh, when he was born. <laughs> so he was the first baby. I love uh, it. One interesting love story. It. Uh, we put the play on, and at the very end of the play was a very dramatic uh, hell scene where mm -hmm. literally the characters were thrown into hell and right. uh, then they came and went through uh, the judgment and everything and during one of the uh, productions one of the young teenagers in the uh, play came down we, we gave an altar call I mean sure. hey that's what sure. the thing was. Sure. and he came down and uh, on the way home he was killed and a oh, car wreck. My gracious. So you never know what happens when you preach, teach. Uh, you think, well, how would a play have an impact? But it had an impact on that individual. He's in glory today. He's in glory today because of it. So That's right. it was a lot of work uh, over mm. the years, uh, but it was worth every, every yeah. minute. One year we had so much response that we did it seven days and two times on a Sunday. My goodness. So, <laughs> My. but you're doing stuff for the Lord. Absolutely. If you don't do stuff for the Lord, then you right. never know right. you missed an opportunity. Right. So, um, yeah, we had good times and uh, some bad times. We had uh, one of the main characters when he came to the play, he was sick as the old saying, sick mm -hmm. as a dog. Right. We gathered around him. 
prayed him. He got up, Amen. went out, and did his part. <laughs> hey, so. hey, 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 yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Really. That, that's a heritage of our church. Sure. We're very it. proud of it. Yeah. Very proud. it. It lasted 29 years and uh, over 100 performances and over 100,000 people saw it. So and we don't it, know the full impact. No, and, and, and probably just telling the story. we'll never find out until we get to glory right. what, exactly. what all that did. But again, once again, that, that there are so... The handprint of Tremont Church of God can be felt, can be seen in the upstate. I mean, every, everywhere you go. I mean, even like we were talking earlier, even at the Appalachian Baptist Church where I serve, yeah. we've got uh, one of your, uh, uh, Darlene was a was a yeah. great member there. She She's a great member there with us at, at Appalachian. Yeah. But I'm saying that, uh, that you have just, your membership, your people are just great God people. I mean, that's what I, I can tell you. That's what I know. And, and I sure, love the music. Yeah. And I'm yeah. sure there's people watching tonight that have seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No question. Yeah. Right. Now, your role, David, in, in the history, are you on the history committee? Is that fair to say? Yeah, what was your role, in, in a particular role? Uh, well, when we started the committee, what, four years ago, Don? Well, or five years ago? Six years six ago. Six years ago. Yeah. Uh, we Don selected a committee, and since I had been there so long, I'm sure uh, he asked me to take parts and, and to do areas. Uh, this time, as we added to it, we, we finished uh, the edition in 90, uh, our 95th. Mm -hmm. uh, so my wife was part of that committee, as in the front of the book it'll tell you on the committee. Uh, you learn a lot about your church that you just kind of take for granted or... Right. You just look at it every Sunday or Wednesday or whatever it is, mm -hmm. and it don't really ring a bell. But then all of a sudden, when you start putting it down on paper and you think, well, right. I remember that event or I remember sister right. so-and-so, brother so-and-so, it means so much to you. Uh, you just can't really explain what it does to stir that interest. Oh, in, yeah, it in rekindles your, that fire. Rekindle, yeah. yeah. And... Uh, one of the things that I'm extremely proud of over the years that I know, we've, I would say, done hundreds of pastors and missionaries and oh, yeah. people yeah. that have come from our church through the anointing. I right. mean, they felt a calling. Sure. And uh, I couldn't name them all, but, I mean, it's, it's hundreds of right. Right. People, uh, who are out there today absolutely. preaching preaching the word and teaching. I, I've got to move over to Don. Uh, Don, what was your role? Were you chairperson of this? I was and okay. uh, kind of got it to going. And, right. uh, and we several of us took different parts and we wrote particular decades. We, right. we, we've got something from every decade from the 1919 all the way up to to uh, 2019. Was there a decade that stands out? I mean, I know they all were great, but is there one that stands out? I would... Uh, I would look back to 1940. Okay. Uh, the tr church was a brick uh, building, and they had a Sunday school uh, promotion. Mm -hmm. I had 1,511 in Sunday school <laughs> on April the 7th, 1940. <laughs> Great. A mega church before mega church right. became popular. <laughs> I was going to say. And that was uh, Tremont through yeah. the years. Yeah. And, but yeah. I think that 1940 was such a... Well, they're dy dynamic preachers all. There's been 22 pastors. Our current pastor, Dr. Eddie Allen, mm -hmm. doing a tremendous job. He's been with us for uh, four years now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And uh, he's number 22. So we've <laughs> had uh, one of the things that, as I research, was found that Tremont was known as a, a singing church all yeah. the way back. Yeah. Well, and I've also said, a praying <clears throat> church. I've always said about your singing. I mean, that's, yeah. you know, what, what but, I... Uh, that's been uh, <coughs> some of the dominant uh, traits of our churches and, and dynamic preaching. We had people would come uh, Sunday night services at Tremont before the uh, uh, air conditioning, the mm -hmm. windows open, people standing outside, couldn't get inside, uh, 1,500 people worshiping the Lord and mm -hmm. singing the, mm -hmm. the glories of God. And, uh, and it's just, but that's been all <coughs> through the all through the years, uh, not just the 40s, but that's one of the things that really caught my eye was yeah. some of the, uh, along in that time. And, uh, and those were hard times for yeah. the most people in the, where the church was birthed and grew up were 
worked in the mill, textile mills, mm -hmm. worked hard six days a week. Yeah. And still they were faithful <coughs> they to were church, there. every service, every service. And, uh, and they worked very hard. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't have a lot of money. but uh, they got a couple of minutes. Look at Tisa's camera and a special invitation to everybody. To everyone <laughs> in the area, uh, especially Saturday, come out to our first annual Redback Hymnal Singing. Uh, five o'clock, we're going to have... Uh, almost two hours of singing, great uh, songs out of the Redback Hymnal. Some of them you heard tonight. And, and then on Sunday morning, uh, homecoming services at 1030 with Dr. Tim Hill. We'd love to have you come out. Uh, uh, we're on uh, Highway 123 between Greenville and Easley. Easily to find. Uh, call us if you've uh, got questions. Uh, uh, call the church and get more information, but come out and uh, help us celebrate. We're celebrating the goodness of God, not just the fact we're 100 years old, but looking back uh, to what God has done in the lives of uh, godly people in this area. And we're so thankful for having a small part of uh, this great church and the heritage that it, it has to celebrate this coming uh, weekend. Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Tremont Amen. Church of God, I'm telling you, it's an experience. I've been there. I encourage you to go if you've never been. Tonight, I've got to say this. We had a salvation. Amen. Praise the Lord. We've had another soul added to glory tonight, and we celebrate that fact. Before the folk, ladies closes out, we're going to pray, and we're going to thank the Lord <clears throat> for every prayer request that's come. Collectively, we're praying. And then you'll be prayed for individually tomorrow. Don, lay your hands here with me. And I'm just going to offer this prayer. Okay. Father in heaven, for every need, Jesus. you know them. Yes, you know their name. You know where they live, their telephone number, their mobile number. You know everything you, about them. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that those who've called in, they will know collectively we're praying for them tomorrow. Individually we'll pray. And we celebrate the fact that this 60-year-old, has given her heart to the Lord Amen. Jesus yes, as a child of God. Praise his name. Thank I thank you for the times we've shared. Bless, Bless the Tremont Church of God. Bless them this weekend as our prayer in Christ's name. Amen. 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 And I want to encourage you this Saturday and Sunday. And I want to thank you for letting us be part of your evening. Uh, I'm Pastor Benny. We've had a wonderful time. Thanks for joining us. And right now, the Tremont Ladies Trio, they're going to take us off. We'll see you next time. The Eastern Gate. Come on, ladies, sing. Hit it.
Saints who for us wait.